Shion. I... Don't. I... Okay. I... I'm sorry. But if you come any closer, you'll only end up getting hurt. Because of your thorns, you mean? No, that's not it. You don't understand. I... <sighs> Never mind. If it isn't your thorns, does that mean there's something else? It's just... <sighs> it's nothing, really. Okay? I... In that case, I... I'll see you up ahead, okay? It's you two. We better get a move on or else we'll never hear the end of it from Kisara. Right you are. A month has passed since we vanquished Volron. I would have thought that the Renans on Lenigus would have made their move by now. We have no idea what happened to Volron's body, nor its whereabouts. The Red Woman also has yet to reappear, for that matter. And contrary to what I had heard, when the Renis Alma formed, not five, but six elements were present. Were either of you aware of this? You mean about the Renis Alma? Of course not. Same. I had no idea a Darkness Master Core even existed. What about Xion's maiden powers? No. That was the first I learned about that, too. Me too. I remember thinking the same thing. What could it all mean, I wonder? Were it any other ability that used astral energy, I'd say it was an astral art. But hers was... different. Speaking of astral energy... We also mustn't forget that while the other Master Corps disappeared when forming the Renis Alma, for some reason the Fire Master Corps remained. It may well have been the work of your maidenly powers. Alfin, are you still able to wield the Blazing Sword as before? For now, at least. That Renis Alma sucked most of the energy out of the Fire Master Corps, but it still has enough for me to use the sword. And the sword is safe inside of me for the time being. Good. You can say that again. But, hey! I heard we are all to meet at the castle entrance. This is Ganya, who has a problem he needs help with. I was just about to ask him what that problem is. All right, then. I'm hungry. You're hungry? I did. Are they not enough? No. Then what's the problem? Uh... Alfin, you have to remember. These people aren't used to responding so quickly. Oh, right. So you have your rations, and it's enough food. But there's still something wrong with them. What is it exactly? I'm hungry. Yeah. I... Do your rations taste bad? I don't know. What's that supposed to mean? I haven't eaten them. Wait. If 
you're not eating them, then what are you doing with them? Bringing them into the castle. What? Why? Wait, back up. Are others doing this? Everyone in my group is doing it. I don't know who told us to do it. I'm guessing none of us told them to do it or else we'd know, right? I was afraid that something like this might happen. The people in this capital are slowly regaining their own wills, but not everybody is getting them back at the same rate. Are you saying someone who got their will back sooner might be taking rations from other people? Definitely. It seems like the people here still tend to blindly... orders they're given. It's a reflex that was quite literally beaten into them. Undoing it will take some time. I know it's not their fault they're like that, but it's still irritating to deal with. Search through this whole castle? Oh, quick grumbling. This sort of stuff's old hat for us by now. Yeah, you've got a point. But it's not going to take forever, Law, I promise. Let's just do what we came here to do and get out. Very well. Well... Hey, pardon me. What the hell? Do these guys not realize who we are? It doesn't seem that way. I must think we're just damaged from the town. Whatever's going on, these are Bull Run soldiers. Watch yourself! Freeze Lancer! Yeah. Hey. You don't say. Hmm. Well... Hmm. Hmm. Well? How? What? So then. I can't believe how quickly you got all those soldiers to obey. You do, Halim? Actually, they were abiding Renan hierarchy. Not me, personally. Well, either way, it solved the problem. Is it just me, or was today's dinner a little low on salt? I felt that it was seasoned perfectly, so as to bring out the flavor of the ingredients. Last taste buds are still like a kid, so if his food isn't rich enough, I bet he doesn't feel like he's eaten anything at all. Don't make fun of me! We all need salt in order to survive! He has a point. Yeah, I remember seeing people trying to lick the rocks back in Calaglia. What? Sometimes you can find rocks out there that taste salty. Most likely, that was actually rock salt that they found. When our provisions ran low, Magal would often bring some back for us to use. At the time, we used it because it's all we had. But now there's something hardy about rock salt I like. Is it possible, perhaps, to find any rock salt in these parts? It is. You have to know what you're looking for, but the flavor even changes depending on what kind of terrain it comes from. Wow. You can always count on Kisara to be earnest.
I've talked to the soldiers and made it clear that they are to remain in line. Things should stay calm for the time being. I know Renans tend to take authority extremely seriously, but you sure know how to throw your weight around as a former lord. I only manage to get through to them because Volron's curse is lifting, but not to the extent that they can act independently as of yet. Considering we had other matters to attend to for the past month, we should consider ourselves lucky that nothing occurred during our absence. But if they do start operating independently again, that's going to cause a whole new set of problems to deal with. Indeed. Ganeth Heros is unlike Menencia. Without intervention, they'll likely revert to oppressing the Danans as they were doing before. Meaning there's still a lot of work to be done in this realm. Not th yes. There was no way to avoid the deep-seated conflicts that had festered here. I just hate that we had to use your position as a lord to solve the situation, Dohalim. Had I not intervened, yet more blood would have spilled here, and nobody wishes for that. <sighs> So, what's going to happen to the Renans here now? Why do you ask? We've stripped the soldiers of their armor and locked them up. They can't hurt you guys anymore. I promise. So they're alive? They're... they're not going to die? What? Those people deceived us. They did terrible, terrible things to us. They made us suffer, long before you guys came along. For years and years and years, it was constant. Never stopped, not even for a day. So many people died. Our parents, our children, our friends. Why do they get to live after so many of us have died? The bastards should die, every last one of them. I... I know how you feel, Ganya. I used to be a slave, and I hated the Renans just like you. I took up the blazing sword to bring them down. But along the way, I've met many people and seen many things. People refusing the hand life dealt them. People who have lost loved ones, but are still trying to make this world a better place. People driven by hate who stopped before it was too late. And I fought plenty of people who were all too happy to make others suffer. But after a while, I came to realize that it's not the Renans who are true enemies. Then what the hell are we fighting if it's not them? We're fighting against anyone who tries to take what doesn't belong to them. But that's what these Renans are doing. Because I judge everyone by their own actions. Because at the end of the day, at the root of all evils committed, is an individual who committed them. You're right, Alfin. It seems like people are either blaming an entire race for one individual's sins, or an individual for everyone else's mistakes. But all that does is add more hate in a world that's already full of it. I want to help create a society where people can finally stop suffering and move beyond their pain. But if we try to do that with more violence, then we'll just end up right back where we started in the first place. All right. Have it your way. I... Is that to say you trust us then? I don't trust the Renans as far as I can throw them. Fair enough. We won't let you down, Ganya. What's the matter, Kisara? Is something wrong? Oh, no. Nothing. It's fine, really. I'm just a bit worried about what'll happen to all these folks. Right. It'll take time before they start thinking for themselves again. Indeed. That is part of it. However, what I'm even more worried about is what will happen to them after that. What do you think they're going to want once they realize how cruel Volron was to them? Probably revenge. <laughs> what happened to Ganeth Haros is the worst form of oppression we've seen. But treated cruelly or kindly, slaves will rise up. Lenegas aside, there are still remnants of Renan supremacists scattered throughout Dana. You mean all that trouble we went through to get rid of the Lords might just lead to more violence? That's the last thing I want to see happen. Of course not. 
And if we don't do something to prevent it all from starting up again, there could be even more bloodshed for us to regret. There's still a lot we don't know about the Renan rulers, but there is one thing that's clear. Whatever we do to finally end it, our motives can't be getting back at the Renans, or it'll all be for nothing. So, what exactly is it that you're saying? Law's right. We can't expect everyone to just forget all the pain they've endured up until now. Not so easily, at least. But we have to at least try to change course. We can't just keep allowing history to repeat itself like this. Exactly. Look, I won't deny that between the Crown Contest and 300 years of oppression, there's a lot of bad blood between the Danans and the Renans. But all these problems are just too big for us to try to carry the burden on our own. We'll keep doing our part in the interim, but we need to take this one battle at a time. Glad that work's taken care of. I don't think we're done just yet. I want you all to stick around with Where are you going? Since when do I need your permission to move around? I wasn't saying that you do. Oh, that's so typical of you. How can you be so relaxed about all this? At this very moment, the enemy is doing who knows what behind the scenes. And yet we're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs in Ganeth Harrow's. I know that. But our hands are tied right now. What do you want me to do? And what's gotten into you anyway? Is there something you want to say to me, Shion? Look, you're right. If I said something to hurt you, I'm sorry. But I honestly don't know what I said to upset you so much. I really wish you would tell me. You don't need to apologize. You didn't say anything. Then why? Please just drop it. All right. I'm sorry. <sighs> it's fine. We have to find her. Sorry. Yes. Uh. Hmm. All right. How can she think of putting her son to rest as work? Because that's the way people were made to think about every aspect of their lives. I know she doesn't mean anything bad by... like she went out of town to take care of her son's body. That's a little concerning. There's Zoogles roaming around out there. Yes. What? <laughs> hmm? Mm. 
I'm afraid not. I'm sorry. Rinwell. Huh? Phew. Hmm? Good. Hmm. Right. That little speech you gave back there was pretty impressive, Alvin. If you call letting your emotions get the better of you impressive, sure. It made them... Stop fighting with each other, right? However you managed it, you knocked some sense into Rinwell and Dohalim, and that mother. Yeah. I can see my decision to travel with you was well made. What? What's that noise? Helfin, this is bad! Look at the sky! Huh? What's happening to Rena and Lenigus? It looks like Lenigus is transforming. How the hell are we supposed to fight the Renans if they're packing that kind of arsenal? It seems they've broken their silence at last. My concern is that object they've dropped into the water. Not just into Dana, but her own resistance too. Astral energy. Are you serious? It's a lot for sure. Not even all the astral energy harvested by every lord combined compares to that column. They're trying to squeeze every last bit of energy out of the planet. But why? I thought they only needed to harvest astral energy as part of the crown contest. Who cares? Uh, oblivion. Do you think that red woman is behind this? It certainly wouldn't surprise me. Just as the Sovereign, the Maiden, and all five Master Cores are gathered in one location, she appears out of nowhere bearing a sixth core. She then forces the two of you to help her assemble the Renis Alma. Just what kind of person is this woman? You mean you don't know her? Pardon? She was there at your palace, wasn't she? Are you saying I should be familiar with this woman? Well, sure. I remember seeing her with you back at Ottolina Palace several times. Now that you mention it, I remember seeing her with Balsif, too. Shion? Oh, sorry. I drifted off. 
As far as I remember, the first time I saw her was when we ran into her in Pelegian. Seriously? How could you two not notice her before? She sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess I always figured she kept an eye on the lords for the Renan top brass. You're sure you don't remember ever seeing her before? I'm certain of it. My memory has never failed me. But if it's not that, then... We'll get to the bottom of this later. Well, what are we gonna do then? Cislodia lies beyond the northern mountain range. Yeah, but we haven't found a single route through those mountains while we've been here. And we haven't gotten clues from any of the freed locals either. Surely there must be a way through. This realm can't have been completely isolated from the rest of the outside world for 300 years. Volron may have simply sealed and hidden it. Okay, then let's try asking the townspeople again if they know anything. Sounds good to me. That must be Rena's true power. I imagine there would be something, but not to this extent. Hey, when that wedge dropped down on Dana, did anyone else see any weird light shoot out with it? Indeed. exactly. Those are the mountains you encounter if you walk deep enough into the Lav 2 marshlands. I don't remember there being any sort of path like that around there. It's possible we overlooked something before. It wouldn't hurt to look again. Soldiers! Some of Volron's former guards. Let's take them out quick before things get messy. Oh, glory unto Volron! Lay down your arms and no one has to get hurt. Silence! Traitors like you shall never walk free. I knew you were stubborn, but you don't have to be so damn dramatic. Another incantation. Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! What's with the hole here? It doesn't look like it's freshly dug, whatever it is. <sighs> Everything all right? Hmm? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Let's go. This place is rather gloomy. Why don't you... You lighten the mood for us while we're here, then. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. 